it is a bright Saturday morning and election day here in Delta State. And just as expected, the highways and the streets are deserted, except for a few vehicular movements for those of us who are on election duty and essential workers. But right now, I am at the Uzoigwe Primary School rack center and polling units and as you can see some early voters are already here observing INEC officials as they move materials from here to other polling units across the state capital and its environs. 17 political parties fielded candidates for both the governorship and the House of Assembly elections and these candidates will be expecting votes from over 5,000 polling units in 270 words. For these voters, the expectations are high, and especially on the part of INEC, considering the logistics issues and glitches experienced during the February 25th presidential and national assembly elections. I spoke to some of them, and this is what they had to say. Well, you know, following the last election, things they did not start early, and uh, I believe that is because it's the first election. Uh, but for now, I, I know that. Uh, since we are ready now, because of the rush of the last election, many persons could not vote and we ended it late. But now, because they have found out their fault from the first election, I know that this one will be done early and everything will be done early and people will go back to their various houses. As always, we pray our vote counts because we all came out on the 25th. And so it's not what we expected, but we will not still give up. So we came today to see do our civic rights to vote. And I believe that the right candidates that God has chosen will be for us. Security is also a major concern for this election, with some flashpoints already identified, especially around the Delta Central Senatorial Districts. But the police has assured of safety and encouraged voters to come out in their large numbers without any fear to cast their ballot. Hopefully, guys, today we go on smoothly and trust that I'll be here to bring updates of happenings around the states, especially as it concerns this election.